Hey neighbors, how you doing this beautiful afternoon? It's Monday. Did you come to watch your girl melt? <laughs> I, I hope so. I, I want to melt like ice cream cone in the middle of summer. But I know it's not going to happen that fast. <laughs> If it was going to happen like that, it should have happened like that back in my 20s. But no, I was hot back then, so that probably would have been a problem. I probably would have ended up with a house full of kids. But anyway, <laughs> hey, baby. Okay, so you know on last Monday for the Watch Me Melt series, we got a workout on. A O E O Y. We got it in. Two whole miles with arm weights. So we work the entire body. That was a total body workout. Let me just mention something before I move on because I had something else I wanted to say. Look, y'all. The workouts I am doing is not for skinny people trying to be a, a, a athlete or a triathlon or something. It's not that much of a vigorous workout. You have to realize I am just getting under 300 pounds just getting under that mean I was above 300 pounds halfway in the middle mark going to 400 so my exercises are not gonna seem like exercise to a lot of people it's just gonna seem like walking and moving around but to somebody that's bigger than you that is hard that is really a workout so the people that are following me i don't they all different sizes but the ones who have an issue with the type of workout worrying about is not vigorous not not vigorous but don't seem like a real workout no it's not something like you would get at the gym or in a aerobics class or something because I'm working my way out slowly. Would I want to just be healthy tomorrow and be the exact size I want to be? Yeah, but I, I'm realistic, okay? I know it's not going to work like that. If it would work like that, I would have been small when I was a teenager, okay? I would have been smaller as a young adult. It, it, my workouts is for anybody who has a hard time working out and have a hard time doing um zumba or kickboxing or a cycling class or something that's very strenuous and if you haven't worked out in a long time if you tried to do them classes you wouldn't be able to even make it through 10 minutes of those classes but with this mild by it being easy moves it's easier for people's joints it's easier for people to build up their heart rate and they can take the exercise at their pace their own pace in their home and don't have to worry about nobody staring at them laughing and snickering and talking about them and trying to make them feel bad when they're trying to improve on themselves so my workouts are not for everybody if you want a harder workout it's tons of workouts on youtube <clears throat> but i do what's good for me yeah i could go to the gym and bust up a sweat and do all kind of stuff in one day i pray that the lord get me to that point where i can have harder workouts maybe the way to drop off faster if i do harder workouts but all things in time this is called watch me melt so it's going to be a journey this is not a race i'm not racing against nobody but my own self 
okay I'm not trying to do all that extra stuff so everybody who work out with me I love you I thank you I appreciate you I hope you have been enjoying the workouts and I'm so proud of you if you've been doing the one mile walk and that's just good on its own because a 15 minute mile is good yes people walk miles faster than that some people run them faster than that but we are worried about us and what we can do in our physical body so if you've been doing the one mile thumbs up to you if you have um exceeded the one mile and went up to the two mile thumbs up for you i'm so proud of you you're doing a good job next it'll be the three mile walk or depending on where i am because i do have a business trip coming up soon so therefore um <clears throat> i don't know if i will be doing the three mile the three mile walk or something else i will be doing something else physical on monday i'm not sure what it is but it's gonna be good and you're gonna bust a sweat because <laughs> that's the main objective okay and this monday is a weigh-in i don't like to call it weekly weigh-in because i don't weigh in every week it's like kind of every other week because weighing in is important because it helps to keep you accountable for your actions through the week if you are weighing a certain amount of weight um and it's just off the scale the next time you weigh in you know that whatever you was doing through that week was not the best thing you need to switch things up you need to change it up but it's so many factors in to that just because you gain some weight it could be you're retaining water it could be if you're a woman you're on your cycle so you're retaining water you're holding more fluid as you're expelling fluid that's all i'm gonna say about that and the more uh, if you have been eating a lot of salty food <clears throat> salty food makes your body hold on to water um if you have been doing a lot of weight lifting um muscle is heavier than fat so you might have lost some fat but if you have gained muscle underneath your fat so you can start burning more fat you're going to be heavier on the scale so there's so many things that tie into the fluctuation of your weight but keeping a record of our weight loss help us stay accountable to ourselves no one else have to see this but you so write it down so you can remember because i've done this so many times i just said okay i'm gonna do something and i i said okay i'm gonna remember that and when i need that information i didn't forgot it because so many things come at you so many things are happening you can't remember so i just started writing my weight down when I weigh myself so the last time I weighed myself on September the 3rd 2018 I was at 295.8 is better okay 295.8 and that point eight is working my nerve I don't know what that eight is but i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna lose it okay so that is what we're going to be doing today doing the way in but yeah i know my workouts seem like baby workouts and they don't seem like you can lose any weight from it but anytime you move your body for an extended period of time anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes and up 30 minutes and up is better but you are going to burn calories and that's what's important because we eat calories every day so if you eat calories and never burn calories off your body is going to use up what it needs through your daily activities but everything else will be stored on the body 
and this is what we're trying to do is we're still eating calories calories because we have to eat to live but we're trying to eat less so therefore our body through ketosis can burn the stored fat for energy so that's why I don't want to say I'm 100% on the keto diet, but I try to stick with meat and vegetables throughout the week. And you already know on Sunday I goes in. But, um, and I do intermittent fasting. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people can't handle eating one time, but it fits into my lifestyle. Because if you're on the go, as soon as I wake up, I'm not worried about no food. I'm really not worried about no food until evening time, kind of dinner time. That's why it's been kind of hard for me to put out the mukbangs like earlier in the day because I really don't be hungry. So it's, it's you got to find out what works for you and work that thing, baby. Work that thing out. I say work it. Mm. I say work that thing God. I say work it. Okay? Find what's best for you and do what makes you happy. If you are on a weight loss journey, you can ask a million people what to do. Trainers what to do or whatever. But it is your body. Do what is right for you. Because all they're going to tell you is to drink water. Eat right and exercise. If you do those things, you gonna lose weight. But no, we want special equipment. We want to take some pills. We want to take some slimming tea. We want to do all this for quick results. But quick results don't last over the long run over time that weight slowly creeps back up and bite you in your <laughs> and bite you in your belly or bite you on your thighs or bite, bite you on your chin yum 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 like whatever wherever the fat was and it didn't melt it away it's gonna come back that's why I gave myself the end of this year to get out 15 pounds. I know if I work my behind off and be in the gym every day, starve myself, and just live a very restricted, restricted life, I could get 15 pounds off probably in two months. But I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to be looking crazy. My attitude is going to be horrific. I said it. You see how my face looked when I said it? Horrific. That's how I'm going to be feeling. That's not cute. That's not cute. So I'm not going to do that to myself. So. I'm giving my time. I'm giving myself time to live my best life. Enjoying the life God has given to me, but doing things in moderation and making some better choices. A lot of people don't like that I eat one time a day. Hey, well, you make sure you eat three, four, five, six times a day if you want to, but that's what works for me. And I've been losing weight, so something is working. And yes, it might seem like I'm eating a lot of food in one sitting when I do my mukbangs. But if I'm only eating one time a day, then of course it's going to be a lot of food. But a person that's eating three times a day and a person eating one time a day, most likely the person that's eating three times a day is going to be eating more food than me. They're intaking more calories. So, I didn't ramble enough. <laughs> Do what you feel is right for you and you will be successful if you know you are challenging yourself 
and you are really, 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 really in your heart has made up your mind to do better so you can be better. It's up to you. My journey might not look like your journey and it don't have to because we're different. We're on the same kind of journey, but you're still you nonetheless and I'm still me. Our bodies are different even though we're both working on our body. So on that note, let's go hop on this scale <laughs> and see what we're working with. See you in a minute, neighbor. Okay, neighbors, it's about that time to weigh in for Watch Me Melt Monday. Let's do this. Two ninety three point eight. Let's do it again. Come on, y'all. Let me put my towel back on. Not trying to show y'all any extra goodies. Ninety-three point eight. Let's talk about it. <laughs> what you got to say about that, honey? Two ninety-three point that damn eight. 293.8 y'all your girl is still going down like Mary J. Blige <laughs> I'm going down <laughs> and I'm so excited I'm so happy about it it feels good to know that the effort that you put in it truly makes the difference and i'm still bigger than most hey but i'm smaller than some <clears throat> i'm bigger than most hey but i'm smaller than some <laughs> so y'all forgive me i'm just getting and i'm just happy <laughs> Never would I thought I would be on a weight loss journey on YouTube ever. It would never, it would have never crossed my mind. But God knew I needed encouragement and motivation and support. And I know that you out there need the same thing. So why not let's work on ourselves and transform and become better together? I give you a part, a piece of my life and you give me a part and a piece of yours. Because you have something wonderful and great within you. And I do it myself as well. And if I can get a little yours and you can get a little of mine, baby, we gonna be packing. <laughs> we gonna be blessed. We're gonna be abundantly and gratefully just, just. It's so big and so great. I don't. It don't. It don't even have a word to explain how great and 
marvelous and wonderful things could be. But I had a two pound weight loss. I hope that your journey is going as good as mine. I know it's days when you want to tell up some stuff and eat it. Eat it all. Eat all of it. And grocery shopping is not easy either. It's hard. It's hard. I know it's hard to walk through that grocery store and not pick up the candy. And I pick up all the snacks and the chips and the pudding and the and the cakes and the cookies and the pies and the ice cream. I know it's hard. I know I go to the same grocery stores y'all go to. And when I go down the aisle, my eye always catching on something. I'm always seeing some I would love to eat. This is my weakness. And I thank God he has not let me buy any. But every time I go to the grocery store, I pass the cook I the cookie aisle. I don't even go down the cookie aisle, but you know, and you're in the middle of like the the row, like not the middle of the row. Well, Walmart, you know, you have different rows and the food this way and the clothes and stuff this way. Just walking down the aisle and I look to my right and you see cookies there. And my weakness is the Oreo thin cookies. Oreo. If you watching this, you make it. You make it real hard for the fat, for the fat people. <laughs> you making it hard for us. Cause you didn't took the little short round fat cookie and thinned it out. So because it's thinner, it make you feel like it's okay to eat more of them. Then the problem is they have it in the original Oreo cookie and then they got the lemon which is, which is tasty. Then they have the golden and hold on watch it watch it now. They got the Oreo mint ones. The thin mint uh, it remind me of the Thin Mints. You know how much willpower it takes to not buy the Oreo cookies when you got enough money to buy a couple packs. I mean, it's hard. I be wanting to cry. I, I need you to feel my pain as a fluffy girl. I need... I need you to feel my pain. So when you tell yourself no, baby, just know Missy is telling herself no as well. Because I be wanting them Oreo cookies. And the only reason why I don't get them is because I know if I buy the pack, I'm going to eat the pack. And I'm not buying the little four pack one. Not the little baby pack. I'm talking about the this pack right here. This one. <laughs> they come in this size. And I could act bad and go buy a carton of cookies or a, a bag of cookies and bring them here and eat them. Ain't nobody going to see me. I could. But I would be destroying myself. And I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it. I'm tired of indulging this time. Indulging that time. Indulging, indulging, indulging. Giving yourself stuff you know you do not need. Extra calories you know your body can't do nothing with. I don't know of no health benefit I can get from no Oreo cookies. If somebody know besides pleasure and lust of the tongue because they taste so good, that's the only thing I know I can get. I, I don't know Oreo cookies have any health benefits, but they taste 
delicious. But your girl can't have them right now because I know those. That's one of my weaknesses. I just choose to stay away from it. Yes, is it a whole bunch of other desserts? But I try to stay away from sugar. Sugar causes problems in the body, especially when you overload on sugar or have too much sugar. Because sugar is in everything. Sugar is in ketchup. Sugar is in tomato sauce. Sugar is in, sugar is in canned goods and, and, and soup mixes. and It's just hidden everywhere. That's why I stopped eating cereal. I don't even drink uh, really milk anymore because of the sugar and, and all that stuff in the milk and even if you get the healthiest cereal it's gonna be some kind of sugar in it or a lot of salt and I'm just trying to cut back on different places to see what kind of change it'll make. That's all you can do. You can add stuff to your diet. You can take away stuff to your diet and find out what worked for you. But I didn't talk enough. I know y'all have things to do. <laughs> but your girl is two pounds down and I'm happy. And I know my scale was squeaking. It's because my ass is heavy. Okay. <laughs> so um soon I might be buying another scale because I think this one might have had it because I've been having it since I was 340 or almost close to knocking on 340 door at 338.9. Um but it might be time for me to get another one because it was hollering, baby. <laughs> it was hollering whole thing but anyway this was my watch me melt way in watch me melt monday way in and i'm so happy that you joined me sorry for keeping you so long but when it comes to these videos i like to express what's on my heart what's on my mind so y'all can see what i be going through through this journey so it can help you in your journey or give you an insight on what fat people go through for all y'all skinny people who watch um because this this is a job on top of a job on top of a job on top of another job because working out is a job okay you sweat you cry you moan you groan all that your body is sore then trying to find the right food is a job trying to work on your mental health is a job because trying to lose weight you're gonna have mood swings sometimes you're gonna be happy sometimes you're gonna be sad some days you're gonna be frustrated some days you're just gonna be feeling like ah mm. You just gonna bend it had enough. You're gonna wanna throw in the towel. You're gonna wanna cut somebody out. But don't do it. Don't do it. Find habits that will help you control your emotions, your fears, your worries, your all of those pent-up emotions. Cause as you lose weight, all of that stuff that was stored up in that old fat is gonna come. To the surface and you're gonna have to deal with some stuff spiritually and emotionally it's just not about physical it's just not about getting slim and trim and fine and sexy so everybody can love you and compliment you and be happy for you because baby let me tell you people is not going to be happy for you very few very few so don't think just because you lose weight, everybody going to love you. Everybody going to pat you on your back. Everybody going to give you gifts and hug you and love on you and stuff. You going to, all your haters is finna come out. Especially if you look better than them once you lose weight. Oh, that's another video. If you want me to talk about that. Leave it down in the comment section. Okay, I'm still talking because I'm feeling good. Because I'm happy. Because I'm two pounds down. Hey, hey, say two pounds down. Say two pounds down. 
hey, say two pounds down. But don't worry, your girl gonna get another scale to make sure it really is what it is, what it is. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. And I will see you. Mm -mm, phone ring. I will see you next time, neighbor. Thank you for joining me, Missy, in the place to be, and where it is right here on my corner. Hey, hey, on my corner. Don't forget to make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I say like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ding. See you later, neighbor. Bye.